please, please, please. Ito, I don't want to sound snooty or anything, ha, but... Well, another tip. I don't know if I'm going to edit this out. But guys, for those of you who want to try yoga, please, please, please. Ito, I don't want to sound snooty or anything, ha, but... If you know that you haven't done yoga in your life, as in like, no zilch, zero, nada, please don't attend the advanced classes, the intermediate classes, because, you know, parang, it, that's not really doing anything for anyone in the class. Because number one, I'm sure it's going to be hard for the instructor to be attending to somebody who's a total beginner. And then, um, while instructing a class that's already, you know, um, intermediate or or instructing a class who and um still satisfying those um students who came there expecting a a challenging routine it's number one number two um for those naman who are attending the class expecting a challenging routine it, it's really hard kasi when the teacher has to assist someone like baby steps yung parang alam mo like, guys try nyo nakahang kayo dun for like kunwari naka birds of paradise kayo tapos tinturo ina-adjust pa ng teacher yung isang student parang 422 years ka na naka birds of paradise if you don't know what birds of paradise is maybe I'll you know I'll insert it here. <laughs> it's not easy. And number three, of course, it's not going to do any favors for you. It's not going to do any favors for you because it's really going to be very demanding if you attend a class na puro intermediate na sila and then you're a beginner. I don't think you're, you'll derive any pleasure from it. Eh, baka hindi, baka, baka ma-turn off pa kayo. Baka hindi na kayo bumalik. So, I suggest that if you're re very, very new to yoga, you choose a beginner's class. For the sake of the world. <laughs>